all like to have insurance to help protect us. But scammers are not only targeting that need for protection, they're taking your money along with it. Call for Action Problem Solver Carice Jackman is here to tell us more about insurance fraud and how to avoid it. Yes, you need to know these tips. Now, the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance says insurance fraud is a consistent problem that happens every single year. Now, the biggest fraud case we've seen recently involves Rutherford County Mayor Bill Ketron's daughter, Kelsey Ketron. You may remember we told you back in January she had her insurance license revoked and had to pay $23,000 in civil penalties. This after facing more than 70 charges related to insurance fraud. Now, Kevin Walters with the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance says their team received over 3,000 complaints in general last year. They returned over $4 million to consumers who filed complaints. Insurance fraud, Walters says, happens in all forms, auto, homeowner's insurance, you name it. Now, Walters says a scam artist will give you a policy and pay them money and then then the fraudster says you're covered, only to find out that you're not. Fraudsters usually find creative ways to do this by using emails, phone calls, uh, everything on social media, sometimes even going door to door. You should always slow down. If you feel pressured, that is a red flag to walk away. If someone contacts you via Facebook Messenger or some other social media app and wants to sell you a policy as a cash only deal, nine times out of ten you're dealing with a scammer. Now here's another tip. Walter says to make sure that there is an actual insurance policy available. Also, don't sign anything until you get a second opinion, get quotes from another insurance company before you give them any of your money, Tom. And Carice, if it sounds too good to be true. More than likely it is. There you go. Thanks so much. You're welcome. If you have something you would like us to investigate, call the number on your screen. Our call for action team working each week to pair you up with someone who can help.